uh, Darren, tell us how you came to uh, be in the United States. Yeah, so I've uh, got a job as the president of the new MLS team in Atlanta, Atlanta United FC. So we start playing in March 2017. Um, the owner is the guy from the Home Depot, who also owns the Atlanta Falcons, which is the American football team. So we're, uh, we're very excited about the, the new season starting in 17. So obviously we last saw you at, uh, at West Brom, uh, heading, heading off to Tottenham. What's happened since then? Yeah, so 2010 left the Baggies to go to Spurs, and then it was um, November of this year, I'm oh, sorry, of, of 2016, I came over here to America to start up the new team. I mean, I had a great time, I mean, I love my time with the Baggies, so I was excited when I heard that the Baggies were in town so I could come along. It's only about a four hour drive from Atlanta, so it's good to get here and see the guys. But is that something you'd always thought about doing, or, or, or did it happen by chance? No, I mean, a little bit, because um, in my background, I played over in America the year before. MLS started for New York in the A-League, so and with my wife being American, we've just had twins that are five months old now, two boys, so it was it was something I'd thought about, but when I got the offer to start a whole team from scratch, is something that you know not many people have the opportunity and the privilege to do that, so it's been really exciting to, to start a team from scratch, and I think you know the MLS is going from strength to strength. Yeah, uh, you've worked in the Premier League, both, both with Albion and, and with Tottenham, uh, how does the MLS compare? It's interesting because obviously MLS is different, it's a single entity, so what that means is the, the league owns all the players and then shares them out between the teams, so it's not like it is in a Premier League where you're necessarily competing head-to-head -head with other teams, you're more competing as a league to try and get players to attract them to America. So it's, it's different, it's obviously not as big and high profile as the Premier League, but I'll tell you, I think it's going from strength to strength, and you've seen it from players like Gerard, Lampard, um, Jovinko who's been at Toronto, um, Giovanni De Santos, who was with me at Spurs, has now signed for LA Galaxy. So I think as the years go on, we're going to see more and more bigger name players who are younger in their careers coming over to America.